What is up, everybody? So today we are gonna be doing another clean with me videos, um, video. And we're gonna be cleaning my kitchen. So the kitchen may like look clean, but looks can be deceiving because my drawers are, it's just really cluttered. And I would say mostly unorganized, but also, you know, like all your drawers, whenever you're like cooking and they get left open, little crumbs get in all the tops of them. Well, I have some of the action going on. So we're gonna be like deep cleaning, organizing, decluttering, all the things. Can I approve your throwaway pile? Ty! I just feel like I have some stuff that you're gonna be like, oh, I don't use that, but then I use it and you're gonna throw it away. I would like approval, please. Thank I just you. got my nails done, what do you guys think? Very summer, green's my favorite color this year, hopefully next year too. I'll show you what I'm getting rid of. Okay, thank you. And refrigerator. Um, oh <laughs> do the face you did. <laughs> no, you're like this. <laughs> it was so funny. I hate wasting food, but my family just really is just so inconsiderate with food. It's oh, like they oh. eat it. <laughs> I'm using the light. Actually, yeah, <laughs> I like it. No, it's fine. I'm just kidding. They're all staring death threats at me right now. Okay, guys, so we are going to be cleaning it out. That's the gist of the video. I hope you're excited. This video is probably going to get a little bit long. Also, shout out to Bright Sellers for sponsoring a portion of today's video. We're going to be talking about that in just a second. I've mentioned them before on my channel. They're amazing, and I'll have a code for you guys. So with that being said, I think I said it all. Let's go ahead and jump into today's video. We're going to wind before we get started. So let's talk a little bit about Bright Cellars. I just got my package in right here. I got four new wines. Um, me and Ty have been using this service for four or six months. I have my wines in here. I'm gonna try one of these out today while filming. So every time you finish a bottle, you can go in and rate your wines, which helps them pick even better wines for you and get wines that you're gonna like even more every time. So I'm super excited about this box because I was reading my cards and I noticed I got some that seem to be a little more on the citrusy side, which makes me very exciting, which again, just goes off my ratings that I've done. I love Bright Cellars for two main reasons for me. One convenience, I just like not having to worry about it. And it's like a little treat that shows up on my doorstep. It's like a little present to me um, that comes in. So it's really exciting to go through all the wines whenever they come in. But I also like it because of the education card. So every time you get your box, you'll get a Bright Cellars pack pamphlet and it comes with the um, cars of education. And I think it's so cute because like each card is the label on the bottle. And it describes the wine for you. It even puts pictures, the alcohol level, the temp you should be serving it at, anything you need to know about it, it tells you. So this is like the easiest way. I literally just go to these immediately, read these and then figure out which one I like. Today, I was reading through these and I think I'm gonna go with, I wanna taste too, so I just went and pulled another glass. I wanna try out the Pinot Grige, meet cute, and then I, I think this one is Sprig Rose. I'm gonna pour a little bit of her. This is the Pinot Grigio. It smells like, just like a Pinot Grige. This one's good. All right, we're gonna try this one. All right, this one is the winner for me. This one is has a little kick to it. So the winner for me is Meat Cute. So that's what we're gonna be drinking. Bright Sellers is giving you guys 60% off your first box of four bottles, plus they're throwing in a fifth bottle. Five bottles total is such a great deal. So guys, the link is at the top of my description box. Be sure and check it out and go ahead and start taking your wine quiz. So with that being said. The dishes. Okay, so to get started, why don't I put my foot on the dishwasher? That's inappropriate, especially because these dishes are clean. As a family, should we just put all these away together? Sure. We're pretending like this is what we do. I literally think this no, uh, look at all my fresh straws, guys, that I save and wash and, wash and reuse. Stop. <laughs> Love these. My family will get in trouble if they throw them away because these are for me and I love them. I save all fast, oops, all fast food straws. And if it gets any lower than like this amount, <gasps> she has a panic attack. No, I would freak out. <laughs> 
So now we're just gonna take, I got these bamboo plates at, so it's not plastic, but I got these at um, World Market. What do we think? He got a new phone case. Case to buy. Case to buy. I'm using my code. <laughs> Um, so, if you guys put the glasses in, in the, uh, sides, this is I do that. No, I do that. no, you don't. Yes, I do. Wait, why? Then you I have so much more space. I do both. And you can... I do both. <laughs> I don't recall that. I do. Just wash it out. No, you... No. Do you think that I, it'll get it off? Babe, I think you should rinse. <laughs> rinse it? <laughs> Where's the scrub? Step one, we have the dishwasher filled. So we're just gonna let that there till it's completely full. Okay guys, our first drawer we're gonna clean out is my cat drawer. So it's kind of messy. I actually just killed a big spider in here. You guys just missed it. Have my chomp chomps. This one is the dupe for it from Shein. Um, this is like a little cat hair remover. This is, these are like old school lint removers. This is Yoshi's favorite cat brush it's from there. I don't remember where we got it from Amazon. You guys, they love this stuff so much. And then this is like, it's dog food, but it says, it literally says on here is for cats too. Great for dogs like or it. cats. Oh, they don't? Boo Boo doesn't like it. I don't know about the other cats. I tried Aww, to give it to him. Oh, we try to get them something. It's like nutrients for To that. add into the cat's yeah. food. It's supposed mm -hmm. to be good for them. They also <laughs> hate these. No, they don't. Yes, they do. They literally hate these and they hate them. This is pretty convenient, but honestly, we like the other one better. These are filters for their water tank. They love this, so we keep it. Clean up. Here I have my handy dandy Dyson. I also put some cleaner in the drawer just because there is still like stuff in the drawer. So we're just getting everything really nice and clean. Now we're gonna go ahead and put everything back in. This smells so good. This is the cleaner I'm using. You know, it's for granite, so I probably should be using a wood cleaner. I don't know. I feel like this works great. It's plant-based, okay? Mm -hmm. Nail clippers. This is something our vet gave us to help them with hairballs. I wish I had like an organizer in here, like a drawer divider, but I have to order more because all that I have, I have them in use. They're in current use. Okay, the drawer is not that cute because I don't have any other organizers, but it looks a lot better. One drawer down. Okay guys, we're gonna clean out the fridge. I've been dreading doing this. I don't really wanna do this. I would love to close it and pretend that we're not gonna do this, but we're gonna do it. So first, I think I need to take everything out of the fridge, which is like so much stuff by the way. Um, so I can't wait to not do this. Also, please don't ask me why I have Smoky dill pickles. Ty right. buys random right. stuff at the flea market and then he doesn't eat it. Who buys pickled pineapple? No one wants okay, pickled. Okay, listen, I tried them and they weren't that good. So why are they still here? Well, I feel bad throwing them away. I so they, they can eat. rot. This stuff, great to cook with. Makes any meal creamy. Little cranberry. God, this is gonna take me off. <gasps> that is rancid. Oh. What year is this? That almond milk might be bad. Great. I bought these because I wanted to try them, but I haven't tried them, so I think I'm gonna try one this morning. This is the part of the video where I'm gonna expose myself on how absolutely disgusting I've let my fridge get. And I know you're like, well, it's probably a few crumbs. There's literally mold growing in here. By the way, I cleared out everything. This is this is the food. That's chocolate pudding, please don't question my terrible decision. All right, let me give you a disgusting tour of my fridge. Oh my gosh, so it looks, it's like looks are deceiving. You're like, look at it, you're like, okay, okay. Oh, it's so bad. Look at this, hold on. That's what this tray looks like. I mean, the other trays aren't as bad. There's some crummage, but this one, I don't know what is growing right there. I also found I mean, look at this. What is that? I don't even know what that is. It looks like rust. This one's not too bad. This one's really nasty. Really, really nasty. What is 
this. We haven't had carrots in forever. I don't know how long this has been in here, but I do know it's stuck. Oh, maybe it's, oh, it was stuck. I do know it has mold growing on it and it's sick. Babe, the fridge is repulsive. I mean, even like down here, the, oh my God. I don't wanna look, look at this it. bottom shelf. I don't. What is this? Okay, luckily I didn't realize this, but these literally just pop right out and then these they just slid right out so these are gonna be really easy to clean thank goodness i think i just broke that oh my god it's gonna be way easier to clean now that these come out a way to think of a convenience invention this right now and your fridge is moldy you don't have to clean it I was gonna tell you clean with me but you don't have to this can just be me you know I'm a Virgo Woo! Yoshi look how clean this is right wow wow I don't wear gloves I normally just dive right in like I just don't care but this is so moldy like there's mold. By the way, if you aren't using, this is, this is, this is the best. This is the creme de la creme. It's the creme de la creme of dish detergents. Um, it's so concentrated that two squirt is more than enough to clean all the mold off of this. Like, look, I don't even have to spray the spray for this one because look how sudsy it's, the sponge still is. Why did I just call it a dish detergent, would you say? I don't know. All right, we're moving on to the shelves. They're pretty sick. <gasps> Why are these so heavy? Okay, this one is like, has a crazy amount of food and mold on it. Like this one is like, probably our dirtiest shelf. She's getting two pumps. shelves okay we finished the shelves that was way more work than I ever thought it would be but I'm glad I did it what are you doing peach what are you doing uh, so the fridge is pretty much sparkling now like every shelf looks really good I put all these back in I kind of made a mess uh, now we just have to do the drawers which these come out but I don't want to take them out because I will never be able to get them back in I don't think I took this one out and I was like, oh my God, this seems so complicated. Like you just lift up and it comes out, but it's the getting back in. Okay, first we're gonna go ahead and get him out. Sick. And then I'm actually, there's so many crumbs in these drawers. I think it'd be easier for me to vacuum the crumbs and then wipe the crust away. So we're gonna get our handy dandy. <laughs> Doyson. Vacuuming my fridge, this is weird. Have you ever vacuumed your fridge before? Good lord. Okay guys, I have this hot soapy water bowl and I am, you know, just really enjoying this moment for me. I'm scrubbing the massive amounts of moldy food out of my fridge drawers. This is my last one by the way. and. If you clean out your fridge, just kind of be prepared to have a couple hours for free because, good lord. Maybe if you don't have mold in every drawer, it's like not that big of a deal. I honestly can't remember the last time I did this. I know I've done it a few times since we've lived here. Clearly not often enough. You know, the fridge is never something that's on my mind to clean. The fridge is just 
really on my mind whenever I want to eat. The fridge is not closed within a few minutes. Oh, lights went off. The lights go off and the alarm starts to sound. Say hello. You need to close the fridge. Okay. I'm going to dry these shelves. They're drying kind of on their own, but I'm going to finish drying them. Look how good they look. Oh my God. Hello. And I'm going to pop them back in and then we're going to put the food in the fridge. So here's the thing. I don't know how to turn the light back on in this fridge. I've hit all of these buttons that you can't even see. Hello. I don't know. So we'll get Ty to fix that. Great. First things first, it's a restock. I mean, this is, this is my baby. And this is the shelf that I keep lower so I can put all of my drinks in. Okay, there we have it. Now we're just gonna put all the condiments back in. I'm not sure what rhyme or rhythm I'm gonna put them in. Well, I know this milk needs to go up here. We put the bigger, taller items up top. Ooh, little cranberry. Don't know who drinks half and half, but someone might. Is that mold? Oh, oh no, 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 no. We have egg whites. We have a tiny bit of heavy whipping cream. I'm almost out. Not good. I'm gonna put these in with the cans too. I'm about to try one of these too. I need to show you guys the grossest thing I've ever seen in my life. So I used most of this, but I had a little left and it was expired, but like by one month. Okay, this is what came out. I don't know what that, it's like, it looks like a live animal. Can you guys see that? Like, I, I don't even want to breathe around it because it's sick. I just want you to see what, what is that? Okay, the light's still not working, but I think we only had two items that had gone bad in the fridge, like as a whole, which is not bad, like literally two items. I also added the Perrier. My first sip of it tasted like Febreze and I absolutely hated it, but I'm trying to just sip on a little more. And honestly, it's growing on me a little bit, maybe, I don't know. Just added in some of our more teriyaki sauces. Um, and I store my soy in the fridge. I know a lot of people don't don't, you don't have to, but I just like mine in the fridge. It just seems right. It seems wrong to not. But anyways, I use the less sodium. This is my favorite. And I'm telling you, if you get on the less sodium soy sauce, regular soy sauce will become so strong and salty to you. So good stuff there. And now I just want to kind of create a section for all hot sauces, but our hot sauce bottles are really tall. So I think maybe on this in here, we'll do the hot sauces. This is a sauce that my mom has eaten my whole life and we were shocked to find it in California. It's like a Southern hot sauce. Really good stuff, good on chicken. Um, we're all about this. Tapatio, gotta have a little of that. Okay, we have two of these. This is a bourbon maple syrup. A syrup. So I'm gonna put random short guys here. And then down here I did all of the salad dressings. There is some more of this business. Gotta have the Cholula. Uh, I think Miss Sriracha is gonna have to go here too because I think she's a tall girl. <gasps> Yep, she's tall. Maybe I'll put all the hot sauces down here. I don't know, why am I trying to organize my fridge like it's makeup? Like it's not all gonna get messed up in five minutes. My family is gonna come in here and destroy this moment. Okay, you guys, here's our fridge reveal, but remember the light's off, so this is not gonna be as great as I'd hope it'd be. Imagine if the light turned on, I'd be so excited. We have drinks. We This is Ty's meal prep that I put in here. Everything's just so organized. We have so much more space. Every shelf is polished and cleaned. We have our sauces lined up, our condiments, our dressings. I'm obsessed, all of my lemon juices that I love. And then the bottom drawer is completely empty, which I normally put some water in there, but we're just trying to lay off with the plastic right now. So, and just do filtered water. So, no water bottles. Okay, a few more cabinets I wanna clear out and just like wipe down and clean. And then hopefully we'll be done soon. I don't know. This is becoming more of a job than I ever anticipated, but that's normally how things go. Next, I wanna clean out this and I know this looks organized, but the problem is like, why does this shore get so dirty? My God, you know, I just don't know. Also, I bought all these little bitty spoons and forks from Crate and Barrel because I just thought they were cute. And then I happen to use them all the time whenever we have people over because I'll do hummus and dips. 
and they're so cute. I just put them in this bamboo container from Amazon. First, I'm gonna take everything out of here because it's gross. Also, like, don't judge my silverware. It doesn't match. It's not fancy. My grandpa gave me a lot of my silverware, and I'm pretty sure it's like 100 years old. And that's, that's okay, you know? That is, uh, look at this. That's okay. All right, we're gonna just actually, I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna dishwash it. I decided I'm just gonna wash it because I don't wanna wait, you know? This, this is like so hard to dry, but I'm gonna just like let her like, you know, marinate. This drawer is super organized. I love this energy here. Um, you know, we could just move a few, I feel like this is like things and more things and all these are knives right here. So that's cool. Like how often have we used this? Actually, I think we have used that. Um, see, these are just the dividers. They're from Amazon. And then the bamboo um, wooden trays are very handy. They're from Amazon. I'll link it all down below if you're interested in having an organization moment. But I feel like we're good. This drawer is shockingly organized. Again, it's these containers. These, like, help so much. Anytime I have extra this, I try to save it and use it. Save all this. Clips. These are the best reusable thing you can buy if you make a lot of muffins or just bake a lot in general. Instead of buying the ones that you throw in the trash, you will never run out of these ever because you'll always have them and I just eat the muffin and put them in the dishwasher. These are the greatest. Okay, that one's dirty. Great, love that. But these are the greatest things. We've got a couple bags. Um, anytime fast food places or places give us napkins, we save them. I feel like I could organize down here though. Um, I'm gonna show you. One of my favorite features of my home is these drawers that pull out. Like, come on, how handy is that? But I just wanna like straighten it up a little bit. I don't think it's that dirty, we can vacuum it out. Plates are so old that I love them and I don't wanna get rid of them. Ooh, and this is where my tubware goes. <laughs> and apparently Christmas ornaments too. I think we'll start with the usual. Also in fast food places, give us, I don't know, the lid to bowl ratio here seems quite off, maybe not. Okay, give us containers, we reuse those. Or like delivery places, I should say. Also, these are the best storage containers that money can buy by um, Rubbermaid. They're so good. The clicky sides. I'm pretty sure this blue one is Daniel Prada's, but I've been enjoying it, so thank you. He's gonna want that back. Baby containers. I also got these off Amazon, I like them a lot. I know this looks like a mold, but it's actually just wood. Just like the color of the wood. All right, so we're gonna keep containers down here so I don't go there as much. And we'll keep our bowls and plates here. Is it weird that we store? Listen, we have fancy stuff here. Like if you want a fancy bowl, have at it. But in a fancy plate, like by all means. But like this is the stuff we use. This was my mom's bowl and I've had it for ever since I moved to California. And I took it with me because I love her. And so now I just have to keep her forever. It's a veggie bowl. <laughs> to keep it forever breaks it immediately little balls are great for serving little sides i use these for entertaining i got them at crate and barrel then i just got these at target i'm gonna stack them in here maybe i don't know i can't do this with one hand by the way if you're wondering why i'm doing things weird it's because i'm holding a camera while organizing and to be honest it's a very difficult process but i'm not trying to complain to you guys but i'm that's why i'm doing things erin made this i'm not sure i feel like this is not a eat off a plate i feel like it's like a keepsake here are some of our bamboo plates and this is ty's ramen bowl chopsticks go through it that he got in japan Okay, I think the light just needed a moment because she just turned back on and I'm so excited I didn't break the fridge. On this over here, 
Um, again, this, this is like a chocolate stain, but it's wood. <laughs> Every time I look at it, I'm like, did I, did I miss a spot? Um, putting my containers back. We got the top drawer done. I mean, it's not beautiful, but it's pretty organized and it's just really easy. We don't even pull these drawers out whenever we need to play. We just, I put the most used stuff up front so you could just like grab a bowl so you don't have to because we use i use these for big salads i use these for like cereal and whatever else and then small plates and bigger plates there and then i am trying to organize the containers can i have some random stuff go in here you know but i'm matching lids which is always very exciting and so far everything has like its match like one, two, three, one, two, three. What is, what is that? A crumb. Love it. See, even you have a match. I'm really impressed. Okay, guys, we just finished off this space. It's kind of random, but this is all the tubware I have. So it's kind of all the tubware we need as a family of three. Like, we don't really ever run out of tubware. So I don't want to buy excess just to fill it up. I like having space. So that is done. Boom, I think it's time. Look how clean this is, I'm obsessed. So I think it's time to put our tray back in. I mean, it's still a little wet. I got this at Target. I've seen a lot cooler ones, like the bamboo ones, but I really don't care. I also have this, I wish, I wish. Imagine if that fit right there, hello. Dry a little more. And now let's put in my match. match. Silverware. Thumbs up this video if your silverware doesn't match and you don't care. I mean, they're still forks, like they still work, right? Um, also, I didn't, so something a little different. When me and Ty got married, I didn't want a wedding shower. We, we just kind of did our own thing at the courthouse. But I also just didn't want any of that. I didn't want a celebration or anything. I just wanted to buy my own stuff. So, you know, a lot of people, whenever they get married, they have, like, all the gifts and they get, like, all their stuff. Well, I've just <laughs> taken years to buy our stuff. Should I separate small spoons from big spoons? Anyways, I just kind of, like, we lived off our hand-me-downs from college for, like, the first three years of our marriage. And I would say maybe in the last year or so great i have two big spoons maybe they're all dirty i don't know but i would say maybe the last year to two last two years i've been buying things that like make sense like mini things i don't know um so yeah a lot of our stuff is still like hand-me-downs i still like it like these who needs 87 butter knives oh my god my sister had those moments and i was there for those moments and it i just like don't want those moments i'm like I'm good actually. Don't for birthday dinners and stuff, but not like a full <laughs> event of me opening gifts. No way. I could never sit in a room full of people and open gifts. I just couldn't do it and be like, oh, thank you so much. Like, <sighs> I feel like that would be so stressful. I may be wrong. I'm sure, a bunch of you have experienced it. I feel like I'd be like so stressed. And I also feel like my momentum would go down after like a bunch of gifts and then people would feel like I'm not grateful and then it would just be like, oh, anxiety. I'm like, I'll just buy it myself. Not into the showers, you know? Is that weird? That, that may be weird about me, I don't know. Here's our knives. These are from the Dollar Tree. They're completely worn out, but these are so good. They were so bomb. These were expensive AF. I got these at Williams Sonoma. I bought a pack. I think they were like 70 to $90 and they are the best this will cut through a steak like so easy these are the best um awesome this is another really old <laughs> she has battle wounds but you know she's from the dollar tree i love her i have a mixture you know i like to mix my highs and my lows with my knives this is another william sonoma knife these are the best again this like i give people these when they want a serrated knife for their steak and i'm like literally this will cut your steak so fast and people are shook. All right, that drawer's done, woo! I would clean out our other cabinets, but I'm not going to because I kind of just revamped them. They're so organized. Look how cute these little espresso clear mugs are. They're from Crate and Barrel. Ty loves the clear coffee cups. That's why some are missing. Those are his favorites right now. I like these in the winter. I drink tea out of them. Um, I can't remember where I got them, but they're so cute. And then I just have my liquor glasses here for champagne, martinis, shots, 
Fat Daddy shot, wedding cups. <laughs> we bought those for ourselves. See, I told you no showers. Skis, mixed cocktails. You got it. All in here. I'm trying to order more glassware. I have some more coming in. So see, there are like aspects of my kitchen that are organized and then there are areas where it wasn't the fridge. And here I just have dish towels. They're pretty organized. I have these right here. Love these. Um, and then here I have, these are organized more dish towels right there. And then in here I just have my heating pads. And then this is like our grill drawer, like anything grill. We also store gloves in here because we don't want spiders to get in our outdoor gloves or like insects that would bite us. So we think it's safer to store them in the house. And a couple grill things. Here it's not that organized, but we just, it kind of has a lot of space. We just put our steamer. We use this every time we cook. This is our George Foreman steamer blender with the devices maybe I can you know make this look cuter these are all of our blenders for our juices and there's another one there too so we just kind of keep all that there this is like the blender thing mobobber and this is like the chopper thing we we tested this out in a video but that drawer's pretty empty so these are pretty good I'll give you guys a tour this is where I keep all my colanders drainers baking and these are extra extra large bowls for baking and then down here we keep, ooh, we keep all the bowlers i can't remember where i got this i think amazon or like the dollar tree it's like a maybe the container store i don't know it just stores all the lids so nicely and i mean that looks pretty good so i'll say our final thing is cleaning off the kitchen counter which is not going to be very hard to do we're going to do the pantry another day because i'm telling you this is a whole video right here this is not a segment got in Cabo. It smells so good. It's like very woodsy and we've lit it like 10 times and look how long it's lasted. It has one of those wood wick candle. My mom always taught me you clean your counters first and then your floors after. So you can pretty much just rake all the crumbs and mess from your counters onto your floor and then vacuum sweep whatever you want to do to get it up. sweeping and oh my god our floors were so gross but they look so clean now and I'm gonna show you guys my dustpan I mean you can vacuum the whole house with this it has an attachment that goes on it sleep baby all right guys what do you guys think we got everything cleaned up it looks so much better i even wiped off the shelf and dusted this is my little ring holder while i do dishes and we just get everything put away 
I keep these up here because marble is sensitive, so water, do you see this ring right here? That'll be on my marble and I'd rather it be on that. So all clean, looking so good. It looks pretty amazing. We did that. I'm mostly excited about the fridge. Aren't you too beady? All right guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for being here and watching. I'm gonna start editing this video today. Um, be sure to subscribe before you leave and don't forget to check out Bright Sellers. The link is in the description box to get 60% off. Such a great deal. And yeah, that's it for this video. Doesn't it look fabulous? Oh my God, I'm so See you in my next video. Bye guys.